GMs. Uh, now, let, let's go ahead and talk about the different GMs here, because on the left, we have our beautiful Iron GM, the Mythmaker, the one who was already sitting there during the last match, Bangera in the middle. Iron GM, there's always more Robocop, Corndan. You need a better name, okay? But there's always more Robocop. I know there's always more Robocop, I know. I know. And big surprise, the person who's been camped out here, pretty much, you know, it might actually be like building a house here. It's Iron GM Commodore, our dear friend Dana. Now let me go ahead and go through who they chose. If they chose the same GM, they got that GM. If they chose different GMs, they got the one that neither of them chose. And our first contestant decided to go and risk choosing Iron GM, the Mythmaker, Bangera. However, our second player decided to go with Corndan, which means that Dana, you're up. And with Cor that Corndan, I'll go ahead and say goodbye to you. I'm sorry. No, I'm you're not. So sorry. You are not sorry. I'm a little sorry. Oh, okay. You're sorry. Dana's not sorry. He's not sorry. So, Dana, I, I'm a little bit interested in what you've got for us. So, we've been working on this for most of this tournament. And by we, I mean me and Corndan trying to get this game to work. It's It's been okay. a rough go. We've tried, what, three different systems a whole bunch of different versions of the game, plus different settings, plus a whole bunch of things, and we haven't really gotten something until recently. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's scary. Yeah. It's not the yeah. first time that we've had that, but usually that's a bad sign. Yeah. Okay. It's super bad, though. You are ready for the reveal, then? Go right ahead. Uh, Throw the image up there. California we have Raisins. California Raisins. For what system? I gave them the nicest version, the Commodore version, because I didn't want to blind everyone with the DOS version. Wrong image? Yeah, that's the manual image. You can Whatever. See, uh, Here's the manual. They, uh, the tiny immediately began chasing after the trucks in its hot air balloon. That's the. That's the image that I got to put up. <laughs> oh, Cordan, are you going to be camping out with us today? I will. Because there's Aww. lots of fun stuff to talk about. Yay, I'm so happy we have both of you here. Oh my gosh. It's, it's always exciting to have raisins. You know, I actually kind of like raisins. I'm not going to lie. I mean... The California reasons were absolutely a pain. They yeah. were big. They were tasty. Yum. Yeah. I yeah, did. I guess. I ate raisins a lot as a kid, actually, but not so much anymore, and I'm not quite sure why. Just never got around to it. I don't... Yeah, that's weird. Maybe you should have. Uh, hey. Yeah, let, let me go ahead. I, I'm working on getting the getting everything set up. So what can you tell people about this video game that they will be seeing for the next while? So this game is probably one of the least well-coded games. Okay, I, I don't think that's a huge surprise. I gave them save states because I expect them to lock the game. Oh no. It, it's, it's real easy to do one particular crash, and we went from what, Dana, about five or six different ways to soft lock down to like one, but yeah. we can't just get around that one, and it's super easy to do. Oh, like, I think I remember. On accident. I think I've seen that one, actually. Yeah, so this is not the NES version that some people are thinking of. This is far worse than the NES version that you are I'd rather of. play the NES version, 100%. By far. Also, I'm very glad that there are people with California Raisins emotes in chat. And I saw one earlier when the game, the stream started and it made me laugh. So, this game is so well done that if you are holding down jump at the same time that you die, the game is going to crash. What? Yeah, you jump off screen and then and then that's it. Yep. Yeah. So did you warn them, them against that? Just so. 
So if it crashes on them, they can just go right back to the start real quick without having to load everything. Because that was a little unfair. And that was, that was, this is the best coded of the versions because the DOS version will crash to desktop after you die. And the Apple II version will just lock at the hard, uh, the high score table. Uh, so, um, yeah. I, I mean, the, the DOS version is more overall stable, but nobody only wanted to see four colors. It yeah. Was very perfect. It yeah, was it's very, it, very perfect. It's, it's CGA, and any time the game's over, it, um, it dies. Oh. Right, you have to reload it. Which means you have to go through the intro that we're gonna see. The intro is what, like a minute and a half or something? It's long. And at least for the Commodore 64 version, you can save, save, save state around it. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and I, I'm just getting everything cropped because both of the streamers are streaming this beautiful game right now. We've got Baldnate versus Weebubo. Remember, the person who loses is eliminated. No mas cuso grande for them after that. Which, I don't know, is that bad? It's almost um, like they won. I mean, I feel bad that this is the game that's going to eliminate them because this game does not pull punches. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't even make punch with raisins. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you can make punch with grapes. Yeah, but yeah, not after raisins. The raisins. It's just all over. No, it's dry. Dry yeah, by that point. You don't want freaking water with floating grape skins. That's gross. That is kind of gross. Yeah. Just saying. No punch. Okay, I believe both of them are captured. I feel like I haven't made any mistakes here, which is fantastic. Doesn't happen all the time, but you know, whenever it can, I can celebrate. Uh, so, let, a let warning. Go. Yeah. The game has nice. Okay, let me rephrase that. The game has music at the start, at the title screen, and it does not in the rest of the game. It uh... has sound effects only during the game. It'll actually have sound effects, though? Okay. Yes. Well, that, that's pretty bad. good. Like, that's better not than bad. some games. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to wait and see if Weeboo is able to get to somewhere with sound. I like this ninja who's like, California raisins? Are you serious? Oh, of course I forgot to change their icons. Why wouldn't I forget that? Corn Dan. Uh, Hello. Welcome to my life. How it goes. Yeah. It's really how it goes. Okay, I do hear music. Let me go ahead and get that moved over uh, and adjust some of the audio here so that we are ready to go. It looks like a video game. There we go. I, I mean, it has qualities of video games. Yeah, so you've told us. Aw, thank you, Essentia, for the sub. Uh, I I generally don't talk about stuff during the matches, though, but I will after. Thank you all. I love you all, as well as you, random genius. Uh, so let's go ahead and get ready. Uh, when you say go, Dana, quick question in Discord. Uh, the question essentially is that do they load the state or the snapshot when we say go? Yes. Okay. The answer is very yes. Uh, if we uh, get really bored of the music, we'll go ahead and play some, like, actual music during this, because there's not going to be music. Uh 
Okay, I think that... I, I think that everything is settled. Both of the players have their emulator up. So I'm wondering, what should people spam? Go ahead well, and find all of your fruit emotes, especially if you have grapes. I mean, uh, if you have raisin emotes, that would be the best. Yes. Everybody who has ties raisin emotes, go for it. There's... Okay, uh, we're, we're still clarifying a couple. Okay, they are ready. I'm doing the countdowns. Keep spamming, everybody. Keep those coming. Wish them luck. Doritos are not a fruit. Okay, I'm going to uh, go ahead and say that right now. Neither is cheese. Man, I could use some cheese right now. Well, better go to the vine outside and pick some cheese. Okay, as soon as That's I see movement in a stage, I will start our timer. So, funny story here. Yeah. You do actually have control during the cutscene, kind of. But we can wait until they actually get into the level. Okay, how long does it take to get into the level? About another minute. Okay. Woo, hot air balloon! So, the <laughs> story that I'm seeing so far is that... The California Raisins bought a hot air balloon. Yes. So, <laughs> so as I was saying, during this cutscene when they're flying over, you can actually drop... Why is... You can drop sandbags. Okay. And hit the targets on the bridge. For some reason, and I'm not quite sure why, Weeboo's uh, moving a whole lot slower. <laughs> Yeah, we may need to check that out in a little bit. We'll see if it sticks in the um, level. In the gameplay? Okay. Yeah. So I'll start our timer when Bald Nate starts moving. Again, every once in a while, because these games are bad, we do not know if there will be a weird... What was that sound? I was opening up a bag of popcorn. Okay, okay. Uh, how long does it take to get in the level? It, it, it takes it a minute. There's a reason I have a safe state for after loading. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and watch, especially the timer, to see if it's slower for Weeboo. Uh, because if so, we'll have to figure out what is happening. Oh, I actually think I know. Uh-oh. Yeah, because I think I remember... Do they look... Uh, I think he still looks a little faster. It looks the same speed right now. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it looks even at the moment. Okay. Uh, is what I'd say. Uh, yeah, if if anything, it was a fast Commodore 64 loading time. Uh, the empty I was saying that. Uh, honestly, anything in Commodore 64 takes ages. Uh, I would say go ahead and chat. You can pay attention. If you do notice that one is significantly faster, please let us know. Our referee is also going to be looking into this to see. Yeah, it's just for some reason the in between or the the cutscene at the beginning was slower for one of the players. Do you think that'll make a huge difference? So will, what will there be is, other cutscenes? I'm pretty sure that Nate had to restart his emulator while we were doing setup, and he forgot to load settings, but. We'll see, because... Hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and get everything settled. 
and figured out in just a little bit. Uh, yeah, Baldinate, uh, definitely the intro ha was a little bit faster. Wow, this is a game. Okay, so what? what's the objective here? What are we trying to do? I so, see that you're a raisin, I guess. You are the, the last of the raisins. The others have all been captured for the cereal factory. And you yep. have to grab the key and get to the door. So you can go through the seven-ish levels of the factory and rescue the raisins. Yes. And we're going to see the screen probably for a while. Yeah. I... This game is not easy. The fall damage is really simple to trigger. Uh... And, yeah, dying is often. And yet, for, you know, the rope, don't worry about that rope. The rope is fine. Just because it's decided to not be a rope for a little while, eh, Wait, it, it's, it'll figure itself it out. It sometimes just doesn't work? It just, it just sometimes it, does that. It, it just does, yeah. How is this licensed? Oh, and so... You see that little strength bar that they've got? That's your jump strength. Every time you jump, you lose that. And once you're out of it, you just can't jump anymore. And yes, falling through the platforms, totally a thing. Don't worry about it. Everything is just kind of a suggestion in this game. Yeah, that's not going to work either. <laughs> You can't make it to the 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 pink platform from there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh, here's the deal. I think visually we can all say why this is bad already. What else is going on? So what? um. <laughs> I think it just farted at me. Down. I'm pretty sure it just farted at me. Yeah. It did. Well, that's not very nice. I mean, the jump mechanics are a pain, but, but besides the fact it just farted at you, right? It's all good. Um, oh, like, we do yeah. all gets a beautiful sprite there. He's just jamming. That's what he's there, doing. He's singing. There is absolutely a way to jump out of the level, and uh, for a while we thought that. <laughs> so that was, a, that was a lock for a while, but I'm the disc image I've got of this one, it will actually kill them after a while of being out of bounds. <laughs> is that a load screen? That is, yeah, it is the game over screen. It is trying to load the high score tables. Ah, uh, gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and play some music because... Go ahead. Because we, yeah. we need music. If you've got... Hey, you could find some California Raisins music. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. Oh, wait, there. We were getting some more California music. Count it, yeah, California Raisins the music for a plug. second there. Okay. So yeah, we're going to just go ahead and skip the rest of the loading after they die because that's is why that save stays there. It takes a while. Oh yeah. Well, everybody, this is Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament, and Dana is making us all suffer. All of us. Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah. yeah, usually the usually the viewers win, but I'm not sure that's going to be the case with this game. So, I said to Corn Dan, I wasn't sure if anybody was going to get past this first level. I think they're going to. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, they it might... It took me a while to figure out this first level, even though it looks like it's fairly simple, because the controls are just that terrible. Yeah, are and they you're that prone to um, falling through things? So are they trying to get to the pink platform? The pink platform is an energizer platform. It lets you shoot things. It's kind of important. So you have to kill everything on the screen. Well, you don't have to kill everything, but there are things that are in your way. Ah, so they need to get the key and then get down to the door. Yes. Right. And killing things helps. Right. Sometimes. 
So, why is it level seven? You can go down from seven down to the basement. Yep. It was so dumb. <laughs> it, so, it, it's not it's not the smartest now. It, it's straightforward in what you have to do, but the game is just laid out so poorly. Oh my gosh. How, like, how? How are you supposed to do any of this crap? Oh, I see. Oh, that's how you so, do that crap. Okay. Yeah, you have to use the platform that's floating up top in order to get around. Yep. And then you jump, you wait for him to go to the right, see that you can jump over to the platform to get shooting power. Then you can shoot him and get past him again. See, I didn't know what misery looked like until you showed me this game. But now it's, I know. Yeah. This this was this was one of my new. I've been working on this for a year now. The raisin's not even raisin colored. He looks like no. poop. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say the obvious. He looks like poop. That's it. To be fair, um, the DOS version, the raisins are in fact raisin colored. Or of course, you know, so is everything else. else. So is everything else exactly. So yeah. you can do this level without getting the shooting power if you're careful. You can. Yeah, but by not playing it. Pretty bad. No. You you can actually catch the key, like the that thing going back and forth at the top. I don't even know what it is, the walking poop. Okay. And so you can get the key that way and then basically run back. Um it's still not gonna do you any good because you still have to get back down to the door, right? So it's still a big pain. So having the shooting power is better. So can you jump in this game? Yeah. Yes. Oh. I mean, you've been seeing them jump. I guess. Oh! He got... He, they stepped on his hand. Yeah. So, jumping consumes your strength bar at the bottom. You have a, you have a, a jump meter, and if you run out of jump meter, you have no more jump. Oh, of course. Because reasons. Because raisins. Because raisins. Wow, Dana. <laughs> you know, I'm making fun of this game a lot, and it, I, I think it's justified. But at the same time, you know, uh, the players have one hour to make as much progress as they can. Honestly, I think they're starting to figure out some of this puzzle. You know, I a lot of this is just going to be having to endure playing through a, a game of this caliber for an hour. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if... No, I, could I play this for an hour? Probably not. No. We, we could find out. I we do we could a... find out. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'd like to say that the first level's the hardest. I'd be lying. I'm pretty sure the first level's the easiest, and you can still see how much of a pain it is. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you... Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! Don't climb down the ladder. Okay. It looks like Bald Nate may be moving on to the end of the first stage. That's some record time there. There he goes. And he has all his lives too, which is important because hey. <laughs> because yeah, um, there's no continues or anything because this is Commodore 64. We didn't have continues back then. Remember everybody, everybody who has been saying uh, that they want to join Cusa Grande next year. Th this is what we're gonna give you. We've seen the highest of the highs. But now we're seeing the lowest of the lows. Uh, yeah, there's no music in the game, so we're just playing this wonderful music. You would think a game about singing raisins would have music all the time, but it's not. Not so much the case. Okay, so Nate has gotten an Energizer platform, so those three little X's, that's his ammo up in the top left. He has three shots.
And then he has no idea how to get down top. Okay. Sorry. Zoom a shot. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. I'm just chatting with Justin to clarify something because we had groceries show up and it looks like they decide to replace some powdered creamer with liquid creamer. And the bad thing is that I decide to buy it in bulk. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> well, so you just drink a lot of liquid creamer? Apparently. Apparently I'm going to. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. It, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it's fine. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm just relaxing, relaxing. Okay. All right, well, the second one, the, well, the sixth level, technically, is a lot easier than the first, the seventh. The easiest one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Justin just saw the raisin, and he's not a big fan. Uh, a lot of people are not really a big fan of the raisin there. <laughs> I did notice that for some reason his, his ammo wasn't going down, but I'm going to ignore that because... I, I don't know anything about any of that. So... <laughs> It looks like Baldinate is already down to level 5, is that right? Was there that a level 6? I didn't even see level 6, okay? I'm yeah, gonna be honest. Yeah, you got distracted because Creamer. Because of Creamer. It's all a Creamer's fault. Oh no, no, why did you- Oh, Nate, why would you run past the platform without charging? That's a mistake. It happens. So Nate is actually doing super well, except having a problem picking up the key. Having a problem picking up the key. Not there, so much where, where I it's made it, fine. it's kind of a pain. And now he has realized his mistake. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah, you have to really time getting the key and, and going down to basically as the cola is going the other direction. Ah, oh. so I'm trying to think, why was it that every uh, food company wanted to have a big mascot and make video games about them? Like, honestly, they did not need to do that. Well, because it was the 80s. Oh, because it's the 80s. Yeah, good excuse. <laughs> <laughs> you were alive for a little bit of the 80s, right? Uh, I was born in 85. Yeah, see? I was, I was alive for half of the 80s. So, apparently, the concept of the California Raisins was originally created uh, in 1986, Sun made commercial on behalf of the California Raisin Advisory Board. That sounds like the most boring job ever. I'm a member of the California Raisin Advisory Board. When one of the writers, Seth Warner, uh, came up with an idea for the new Raisin commercial saying, We have tried everything but dancing, raisin, singing. I heard it through the grapevine. And then they just were like, oh, okay, let's try that one thing we haven't tried. And it became popular. Yeah, so. that's honestly, like, very believable. Again, the 80s. I heard it through the grapevine, everybody. Stupid raisins. Oh no, the missing number rope got it. How do you even get on a California Raisin Advisory Board? Like... Ass assumedly, you are in California, and you like raisins. Okay. Those are the first two important steps. Uh, born in California, love raisins. Okay. I've got half of one of those. Raisins are okay. Can I join? And Can you pay me like $100,000 to say raisins are pretty all right? I want to point out that Chad is correct. This whole food mascot game thing, we just got a KFC game. Wait, KFC? 
It's a KFC dating game, no less. Yeah! You don't know about the Kentucky Fried Chicken dating simulator? What? Oh, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry that I was traveling this last week. Oh, bro. I'm a little bit terrified. I, I, would, I would imagine that that would have been like a big thing at TwitchCon. Do you date, like, the biscuits? <laughs> I want to date a biscuit. Bro, you I'm date so Colonel sorry. Sanders? Well, well okay. chat, we now know what bro needs to play. He needs to stream the KFC dating sim game real soon. It is free. Can he reject you? I don't know. I haven't played it. I have not played it either. Okay. Like, can you break up with the colonel? Like, I, I think this this is really important for me to find out. Like, honestly, I'm not going to let the colonel run my life, okay? Oh my gosh, the KFC in town here is just not great. And uh, yes, there is a tabletop game that just came out based on Wendy's. So if you want to play fast food D&D, Wendy's has you covered. <gasps> I kind of want to now. Like, I'm not going to lie, that sounds better than a Colonel Sanders dating sim. <laughs> I don't know, you haven't seen what Colonel Sanders looks like in the Colonel Sanders It's movie. true. How many muscles does he have? All of them. All. Okay. Now, Come just on, so there, you know... There's a Professor Dog in that game, too. Kentucky Fried Chicken was founded in Utah. So, one, it's all a lie. Two, it's because of me that you have the Colonel's dating sim, okay? I'm not quite following the logic there, considering you were born well after KFC sim. Uh, but I was born way before dating sims. <laughs> okay. No, no, you weren't. No. Okay, before <laughs> Colonel Sanders dating sims. Okay, that one will do. You know, actually thinking about J Japanese culture, you know, a Colonel Sanders dating sim is not too surprising. Uh, anyways, let, let's move on. Let's talk about raisins. <laughs> well, I mean, there are raisins here. And they're dying a lot. Well, they they're dying a lot. So, in essence, what I'm seeing is that when the game over, they have to go back to the beginning of the game. It seems like yeah, yeah. stage seven which is the first stage. Yes. Is a little rough. Yes. It is definitely much harder than stage six. Why does popcorn kill raisins? Why does the poop at the top of the screen kill raisins? What even I is it? supposed to be hot dogs? I think one's a hot dog. But it is clearly Mr. Hanky the Christmas Spoon. We know where that kid's come from. Clearly it's from this game. Yeah. Oh, ketchup bottle. It's a ketchup bottle. Okay. Well, it's very brown ketchup. You might want to throw it out. So yeah, Nate is skipping trying to get the uh, the ammo in stage seven, which is probably okay for the most part because you don't they really need it, it. It just makes makes uh, getting back a little harder. Okay, let me see who's on the board members for California Raisins right now. Chairperson is Jeff Milinovich. Jeff? It's probably your fault that this game was made. Dang old Jeff. Let me see what you even look like. Okay. I don't, yeah, unfortunately it looks like he's really tried to keep his face off of the internet. I can't find a picture. He's like, I I created these abominations. Nobody should know. <laughs> well, let's be honest. The um the California raisins were were very nineteen eighties. 
yeah, it's real true. Real big. I remember my sister having little California Raisins plushies. I mean, they released four studio albums. One of them actually landed on the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, yeah. Ended up be being used with Post Raisin Bran, so, like, they were strangely big, and I'm not sure why. Because it was the 1980s and we didn't know any better? I mean, yeah, we had Cabbage Patch dolls in the 1980s. I mean, of course we'd have singing raisins. Why not? <laughs> Tell me why not. I mean, this is the same period of time where we also had uh, Mac Tonight and other, like, Chuck E. Cheese was just starting to come around. Like, this is the time and era of, like, bad anthropomorphic like, things. In 2015, there was an announcement that there would be a live action slash CGI reboot of the California Raisins. Yeah, that's right. We could possibly have a live action California Raisins movie come out. I don't like Wouldn't be worse than that Astra. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? It could be bad. Oh, it'll, it'll be, be really bad. bad. Yeah, uh, Lizstar is asking why does the rope sometimes become a nightmare? And I would say, glitch! This game has problems. Mostly the that answer, it's a California raisin game. The answer is we have no idea, but it does, and it, and it goes back sometimes, and it actually still acts as a rope. It just does things. Uh, <laughs> stupid <laughs> raisin! I really like that raisin. Oh, he's so <laughs> ugly. Like, it's like he has to do a performance, but he's getting over a really bad hangover right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe that's why he's all shriveled up, you know, just didn't no, drink enough water. Oh, well, okay. To, to, to be fair, right, the California Raisins were, like, a take on, like, the Rat Pack. So he's not hungover when he's doing his performance. He's still probably drunk. Oh, okay, that that's makes sense. pretty accurate, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What a what a game! What a video game! Uh, I'm glad that whatever was chasing Bald Nate just disappeared for no reason. So that's it wasn't cool. no reason. He actually shot it. There's just no bullet. In <laughs> Wait, it doesn't show bullets? No. No, you just use them, except for whatever reason you don't. It just doesn't consume anything. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, the, the point of view on Bald Nate's screen, because we've got platforming, but we also have, like, corridors that you can walk down. So, Weeboo just got through stage <gasps> seven, so... Time to move on to stage six. Yeah, stage six is not nearly as bad. How are you supposed no. to know, by the way, that the pink platform gives you bullets? I Invisible incredibly bullets. warned them, even in the manual, <laughs> and told them to read it multiple times. It's in the manual. Okay. Let me let me go and read the manual again for everybody here so you can see what was in the manual. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where is it? Okay. I'm doing a lot of scrolling here. Okay. Tiny Good Bite is a California raisin. One even... <laughs> What a good name. One evening, upon returning to his village after a busy day, he was met by a scene of destruction. The hut smashed. Landscape destroyed. The entire village laying in waste. The ground trembled as trucks loaded with Tiny's companions drove off in the distance toward the cereal factory. Tiny immediately began chasing after the trucks in his hot air balloon, but it was no use. The trucks were much faster. Uh, Tiny finally reached the cereal factory determined to find his friends. Loading instructions for your convenience. I see nothing in that in the playing guide. So, in essence, the cereal company is evil in this game. But they're advertising cereal companies. I'm so confused, Dana. I don't understand. There's... 
I think really they got. To understand. Their messaging is a little bit confusing. Okay, here we go. I found more. Found more of the manual here. Okay, you'll be playing through B levels of the cereal factory. From level seven down to level one, and then you will take the elevator to level. Oh, I guess it's an eight, not a B. It looks like a B. No, yep. it is a B. It's a basement. It's like an elevator. This is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, then you will take the elevator to level B. You have five lives at the start of the game. Each level has a few meanies who will try to kill you. They will do so if they touch you. You may shoot the meanies if you are energized and are facing either left or right. In order to become energized, you will have to jump onto the green platform. Is it green? Uh, it's green in some versions. I think in the Apple II version it is. Okay, yeah, this looks pink to me. I think. Yeah. I'm also colorblind, so I, I'm no, not. Sure. It, it, no, it's, it's definitely pink. pink. Okay, let's see. Okay. But I believe it's green on the Apple II version, which I believe is the first version that was created. And then when you reach level B, you will be energized automatically. Thank you. You know, there, are, there are possibly other visual cues that you can use to show that you're energized, like put a battery next to it or, you know, put a gun on it. But why would you do that? I don't know. See, that would be like good game design. Yeah. And and we're sitting here watching California Raisins for the C64. I mean, yeah, this is California Raisins. Hey, Baldinate is through level five on to level four. How it's about like, this raisin? This raisin's on level four. He's got finger guns. Yeah. Pew pew. Pew pew. <laughs> Baldinate. <laughs> oh, I love it. These are hideous raisins, though. They're pretty bad, yeah. So, yep. question. Where is the, like the crash or the soft lock or whatever like if, if you die and you jump at the same time it crashes oh, oh okay. we're having a little problem <laughs> if he dies in that stage it just flat out kills him he killed his program um what did baldnate do wait oh he died are the hooks good or bad I honestly have no clue. I don't know, because I never made it here. Oh, okay. They look like they might be good. They're sort of good. That worked. Okay, it looks like there is uncooked bacon at the bottom of Baldnate's screen. That's terrifying. I, I'm not... Sure. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. I'm saying it's bacon. Also, hard hat Mac is amazing. Ah! Funny. <laughs> is he eating? Like he's singing in the microphone. It looks like he's eating a paintbrush. I'm not gonna lie, this art, while amazing, is also not very helpful. <laughs> well, I mean, haven't you ever licked paintbrush? You know, I think I have. It was not leaded. <coughs> I think. But I wouldn't be surprised if I've licked a paintbrush. Like, I, I, I know how I was as a kid, and if there's something stupid that I could have done, like, that honestly uh, is one of the least stupid things in that list. So, yeah, I'll say... Good odds I licked a paintbrush. Okay. Okay, it looks like Weebubo got good luck with the rope. Yeah. Uh, I still want to know why the rope turns into an abomination of nature. Well, like, is it on purpose? 
Does it happen with no. any of the other versions? Uh, no, it, it happens in a couple other routes. Uh, oh, you mean the uh, actual game it version? Doesn't I'm not sure. Version. Oh my gosh. Okay, it doesn't happen in the DOS version, so confirm that maybe that maybe that's fine. I'm I'm just amazed. This was developed by a company called Starsoft Development Laboratories. Uh, they also made other wonderful games such as Jaws for Apple II, Commodore 64, and DOS. Uh, they made a game called Pirates of the Barbary Coast, uh, Oil Barons, Santa Paravia, and Fumacho, I guess. Black Monday, that sounds like a fun one. Stock Market, the game. You enjoying your popcorn corn, Dan? I am. <laughs> And, and my popcorn is not running around, so... And that is point. a step up from what we're seeing on screen. I know. Oh, and they made a game called Psycho. Okay. Uh, I think it may be... Oh, yeah, there's Bates Motel. It's based off of the movie Psycho. So, thank you very much, this company, for making only the best video games that have ever been made, including the California Raisins. That's, that's legit. It was published by Box Office Incorporated. Right. That would make sense. Which also published ALF The First Adventure. Wait, I've actually played that ALF. Okay. It's not good. It's... No. No. I was very disappointed by the ALF game on Commodore because it was not anywhere near as amazing as the ALF game on the Master System. True. The Master System for ALF is amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Wait, there's somebody who's credited for doing the screenplay for this game? What does that even mean? Did you sit down for 15 minutes and, like... Say, yeah, let's just not have any writing at all. That would be great. I mean, they wrote the manual. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the story. That was great, Hal E. McCreary. I'm glad that you used all three brain cells that are in your head in order to create that. <laughs> Actually, that's well, rude. Yeah. That is rude of me. Sorry, Hal. That was Hal. very rude of you. Wow. Yeah, there's at least four brain cells. Yeah, true. He had to work with what what he was given, and he was given raisins. You know, we're being sponsored by cereal companies. Let's go ahead and make them the villains. Yeah, thank you, Hal. <laughs> what a doofus. He, he might be a fine guy, but yeah, let, let's just say that maybe that's why he didn't work on too many other games. They're like, we're supposed to be praising those companies. Not ragging on them. Then again, that wasn't his last game. His last game was Space Conquest, A Galactic Odyssey. Or no, he, he did the cinematography for Oil Barons, which guess what? It doesn't use a camera. How are you going to do cinematography there, Hal? Same way that you did the screenwriting for <laughs> California Races. <laughs> Look, this game clearly has a script. I just have no idea what it is. I'm sorry, like, he's kind of, he seems like the guy who somehow got a job, and nobody knows what he does, and he doesn't know what he does, but, you know, he just gets credited for whatever he did. And he just keeps working there, he's like, you know, we're, we're gonna keep working. Like, literally doing nothing in the office. This is just what I do. I get credited for making video games. <laughs> you know, that's sort of a job that I would love to have with video games. One where you do nothing. And you get credit for it. <laughs> and get money for it? Oh, that would be great. Yeah, get, get money, get credited. Yeah. Maybe Hal was the intern, you know? That sounds reasonable. 
the intern slash uh, top credited person for this game. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do if you get an internship at California Raisins, you know? So both of them have now run into stage six, just flat out crashing the emulator on them. Uh oh. Uh, Main CPU jams are the best. Yeah. How? Awesome. How does? Do you have any idea what happened? Oh, oh Baldnate. Yeah, Baldnate definitely just spoiled what happened. He put in Discord. I was holding jump when I died, so lesson learned: don't do that. Correct. I tried to warn them not to do that. Did. Yep. Even with the warnings, Wii though, was Dana. Slightly different from that, <laughs> because I noticed before we died, it kind of wandered off into the air and wasn't actually falling, so it was kind of like mid jump the entire time. It, I, like gravity didn't wasn't really important. I don't think you want to wash raisins, chat. Because that turns them into grapes. I think. No. There's I'm, no going back. I'm just trying to understand raisin biology. You can rehydrate the raisins, in which case they're mushy raisins. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound Once good. you're a raisin, you're done. You are a raisin. Well, that's sad. Yeah, I, I'm sure we could get them back to grape status at some point. Well, I, I guess mm. you could plant them and assume that they still have seeds in them. Ah. And then, and then grow grapevines, and then you can turn that raisin and a whole bunch of time into a lot of raisins. Do you know how to do surgery on a grape, Corn Dan? No. Okay. I mean, you cut it up, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, I have sharp knives and scissors. Okay. Okay, that that would probably work. Yeah, that that's an old school meme. Sorry, Corn Dan. Oh no. You're just too young. You're too young for this stream. I I mean, I would both download a raisin and a car. So. I would not download a raisin. That sounds weird. Well, I mean, just because you wouldn't do it doesn't make it a, a, a bad idea. I'm willing to argue yeah. that some of the things that you have, uh, you have premised that are good, saying you wouldn't do it makes it a good idea. I'm just, like, here's the deal. I download a car because I want a free car, but do I want free raisins? I, I feel like I would be a little bit safer paying for a raisin. You know, it's like, if anybody gives you a free hot dog on the side of the street, you're not going to take it, okay? You're like, a mm, little bit questionable. Why would you be thing. giving away hot dogs I, for I, free? I have a four-year-old who loves hot dogs, and I think to myself, that will at least keep him quiet for a while. Yeah, that that that's fair enough. Right, I'm, like, you download Raisins if all of your nieces and nephews came to visit and, and you didn't have anything. You download Raisins. Absolutely. Don't deny it. Look, I've seen enough movies where people get poisoned. I'm not taking a free hot dog or free Raisins, okay? But, you might... but the real question is this. If you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? I know I would. I'd at least take a bite. <clears throat> I'd probably regret it later, and I'd have to perform surgery on a hot dog. It just... I don't know. It sounds really complicated. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to think... Corndan, I just realized... I always imagined that you're older than I am. But I don't I know anymore. Than... Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Are you willing to tell us your age right now? Sure, I'm 36. Oh, yeah, you're old. Okay. Wow! <laughs> that hurt. 
My <laughs> birthday's next fun. week. I'm getting older. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting here at 39. Oh, wow, Dana. Wow. <laughs> I'm, like, practically already dead. You're a California raisin. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, do you live in California? No. You're a whatever you are, wherever you are, raisin man. I really don't want to know what an Alabama raisin is. Alabama ra Oh, no. That's like a shriveled up possum. Would they, would they like, carry banjos around? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, I, I would listen to the Alabama blue, bluegrass raisins. <laughs> ah. I don't know what they'd sing about, but I'd listen to that song once. Just to find out. You know, yeah. banjo music is okay. It's fun. I don't listen to banjo music every day, but it's fine. It is true. If this was, if life was a JRPG, I would be dead. Like, JRPGs don't have people that look. Either that, or we hit this time skip where I'm like, looking like I'm 70. Wait, did Weeboo just crash the game again? <laughs> Probably. Weeboo. Don't die in level 6. Yeah, dying in oh, level six is like the biggest rule. We do just jumped over the wall, so apparently this version doesn't fix that one. Oh well, yeah, you you can <laughs> still jump over the wall. It will just actually kill you after like several minutes of waiting for a death plane, I guess. <laughs> it's like we don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, okay, you're dead, I guess. I said at the very start of this game of this stream. This game is held together by silly string. Just so everybody knows, by the way, this match is actually very important because the person who wins lives to see uh, another day, and the person who uh, loses the match is actually eliminated from the tournament, and odds are will live a happy life. Yes. So, yeah. They'll both be happier in, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, oh. thereabouts. Oh, I'll be yeah. happier in 15 minutes. Like, Dana, that's not hard. <laughs> this is California sure. Raisins. Are, 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 are you sure you'll be happier in 15 minutes? Or I mean... Minutes will you be wishing for more California Raisins? I like to imagine... I like to imagine that I'm definitely going to be happier. <laughs> I, I mean... We do have two more matches with... Ostensibly, whoever is the GM for those matches... Right, I mean, just on the quality of the two games we have played so far today. Oh, yeah. Right, those games are going to be awful. And so there's like a 50-50 shot that this is going to be the better game than whatever's coming next. A 50-50 sh I don't buy that. No, there's like a 0-100. Well, I mean, that's 50-50, right? No, no, you... Oh, my gosh. None of you ever go into statistics ever, please. Okay. I'm a statistician. This is true. It's true that you're a statistician, but you are so wrong. I mean, who am I going to believe here? Me. The statistician or the Utah fact? I got a minor in math, and that's better than statistics. Okay. Yeah, but I majored in rocket science. Oh. True. Or Dan is a literal rocket scientist. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are we even listening to now? Oh, Ultima 6. That's why it's weird. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's fair. Ultima 6 is kind of weird. It's okay. Well, everybody, uh, we only have less than 15 minutes left. We're getting near the end. We're seeing beautiful eyeshadow by all players. Thank you very much, players, for showing your true inner and outer beauty. I feel a little bad that the first elimination match was this. 
Dana, you feel but bad. But on the other hand, I don't really because this had to happen. But you had to set the tone for for what was coming later. <laughs> yeah. And the tone was raisins. <laughs> Pretty much. It's a good tone. You know, I, I wonder, how many weights do these uh, raisins lift to get this tone? Do they have very toned muscles? They're kind of neatly armed, actually. And, and they're pretty wrinkly, too, so... So not very many, is what you're saying. No, not really. Okay. I mean, they're being beaten up by bars of chocolate. I mean, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. And popcorn. I mean, how weak do you have to be to die to popcorn? Uh, I mean, I've choked on popcorn feet? quite a bit, you know? It's, You're it happens. My point. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow. Corn Dad. <laughs> Corn Dad is being a Rudy Patootie here. Just so chat knows, okay? Rudy Patootie equals Corn Dad. So I think they're both moving on to level... <laughs> I'm glad that we had them sync up for that. <laughs> do, do, I mean, just do, look do. at that face. Now, bro, when you were asking about, like, how defined they are, look at that, look at that piece of poop trying to sing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, I'm just trying to think. If you're this ugly, do you really want to go into showbiz? Wow, that sounds really rude, especially towards Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, a little bit. I like Steve Buscemi. Oh, I like him, too. He's a good guy. No, I love Steve Buscemi. It's not being mean. It's just being true. Like, honestly, if you want to go into showbiz, either you have to be gorgeous or you have to be ugly. If you're mediocre, like the majority of us here, then you're just never going to make it. John Goodman has made it. Is he attractive? Not really. Exactly. Not really ugly either. See, Danny DeVito... Well, I think Danny DeVito is successful because Danny DeVito is like a walking meme now. A walking what? Meme. Oh. Yeah, it's he like. He's pretty meme -y. Yeah, what about Guilford Godfrey? Okay, if you're a comedian, you have to be ugly. How about that? If you're a comedian, you have to be funny. Uh, well, that's arguable. <laughs> well, somebody has to think you're funny. No, okay, you have. There we go. No, ugly is, like, number one requirement, and then funny comes after. I cannot think of any comedians who are attractive. Especially dudes, okay? All of them are ugly. All of them? All of them. You sure? Yeah, every single one. Literally every comedy dude who is successful at all. Super uggo. Dana, you're not a comedian. You don't have to worry. Yeah, I haven't laughed a single time. At <laughs> wow! Wow! And you were calling me rude. I am mortally wounded over here. You know, Ouch. I'm sorry. Get I'm... Me some burn heal. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Apparently, I'm just rude today. <laughs> Splash! Look, corn it's kid. I... Like a wild. Oh, really? It's cool like a wild. Yeah. It's cool like the water. Yeah, it's cool like the water. Yeah. <laughs> that rope was. 
double down. Yeah. <laughs> See, so, he's got this game figured out already. You gotta go down. He's very smart. Um, yeah, you gotta go to yes. the door, corn child. Yeah, th this game is definitely a little bit rough. Uh, and by a little bit, I mean... I I think this is one of those games that uh, if I would have turned on for about half a minute, I would have been like, let's move on to the next thing. Yeah, well, Dana, I love you, okay? I'm sorry that my jokes are dumb, but it it just happens. I'll never recover. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Take it! I'm dead forever. <laughs> oh no, where did Corn Kid go? He wandered off. Okay. So he didn't get kicked out. He didn't get banned. He did okay. not get banned. He, he wandered off to other parts of the world. Yeah, stop the conspiracy theories, chat. Oh look, level four. Doesn't oh, this look great. Well, yeah, it, I mean, it's been a while since we've seen level four. The hooks are perfect. They're my favorite because they are dumb. And then <laughs> dumb. I don't know what Baldinate just did, but I guess that's a ladder. I a mean... pole? Is it a pole? It's like a barber maybe pole. It's, maybe it's like chain. Oh my gosh, the physics in this exist for sure. I can tell. They, they are physics. But now he can't. Okay. So, you got the key, but you got a problem now because you are out of jump. Oh no, where does jump go? Is there any way to get jump back? Um, fruits. From fruit? Like, yeah. That's how you get your jump. What about? I love, I love the, the somewhat dead, supposedly raisins on the conveyor belt. They Where you look like Mr. Potato Heads. At first, I actually thought they were turkey. Potatoes are just <laughs> large raisins. Okay, yeah, so I, I, I want to point out that if you lose jump mid jump, you just stop, like midair. Yep. Weebubo is trying to get, or no, Baldnate, sorry, he's trying to get the key, but can't. can't. Just got a wiggle. Can't do anything. Sorry, game over. Everything <laughs> is ruined. Oh, yeah, it is. It's bad. Weebubo is just sort of chilling at the top left. Waiting for the elevator. There is a lot of waiting for a video game. Yep. Oh my gosh, this is like... Okay, like, if you try... Why uh, did Weebubo just die there? Trying to walk off of the platform. I don't understand. How was that a death? It just is. Was it out of time? I don't... Oh, uh, no. I don't know. And it looks like Baldinate managed to crash the game. Dana. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you gave them a save state so that, like, we didn't have to watch hours of loading. Thank goodness. Uh, you don't and, understand and the game? I still want to point out. Oh, yeah, I go ahead. I still want to point out, this is better than when we started our testing originally. Yep. Yeah. So... Is it because, like, did you actually have to make changes with the game in order to get it playable? We had to find, we had to scour the internet for, like, at least five different versions of this game. It was, I think, like, seven or eight by the time we were actually done. I still can't believe this game is real. Now, for those who are just tuning in, Kusa Grande is a bad video game tournament. Uh, they have one hour to make as much progress as they can. Baldnate looks like he's going to be taking the victory here, having made it to level four. Uh, however, yeah. yeah, just so everybody knows, to beat a level, you have to get the key and then get to the door at the bottom of the screen. That is generally your goal. And I, I think Weebubo made it to level four. Five, or was it just six? I think he has died on level six every time. 
okay, we will just jumped through the popcorn maker, got out, and then died. It's fine. And my phone thought I was talking to it. No, go away! Did it order yes, you the are back on Amazon? I said, okay, Weeboobo, and it decided that sounded like, okay, Google. So, oh, crap. Now my phone's listening to me for sure. Crap, no. I found these results. Shut up! It found results for whatever I was talking about. Thank you very so much, what phone. What were you talking about? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Everybody who has Android, I apologize. Well, I have that turned off on my phone anyway, so... Oh, good. Look, I had a student named Alexa, so, you know, I just had to deal with that because there, there was a device specifically uh, that... Uh, would respond to Alexa in the in the classroom and it was amazing and every time it started like changing colors and flashing at me whenever I said that a good friend of mine just got married recently to a woman named Alexis so they can't have any Amazon products in their house well I mean that's fine <laughs> Yeah, generally you want to go with a name that people, like, don't well, name their children. You can change it. You can, right, change the Amazon devices in your house to respond to computer. But I would just be um, inclined to try to talk into the bottom of my mouse that, because of that. <laughs> I yeah. was waiting for that joke. Just change the, the, the phrase to, like, butts, 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 butts. And then... You know, nobody is going to name their child that. <laughs> oh, Double Raisin. Double Raisin. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and if anybody here goes and names their child Butts, 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 I'm going to have to get a new phrase for my phone. <laughs> Look, some, somebody has probably... Given that, that people have named their child A, B, C, D, E, right, somebody has named their child Butts, 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 Butts. And How do you pronounce A, B, C, D, E? Because I'd pronounce um, it a B, C, D. I'd pronounce it a B, C, D. I'm and still a fan of Ladasha. We hit time. That is it. I feel like my playlist is just repeating because I know we've had this song before. Go away. No, we've had this song before. Go away. No, it's not Quick Man. Thank goodness. Sure, this will work. Okay. Everybody, this was an hour of California Raisins, which I don't know. An hour of regret, an hour of dumbness. Uh, an hour of crap. That That's what I would say, Dana. Baldinate managed to make it down to level 4. Weeboobo got a little bit stuck on level 6. I think may have made it to level 5 once, but that's about it. Baldinate for sure is taking the victory today. Let me go ahead and see if they are welcome, or if they are willing to come jump into voice, because I, I don't want to take the blame for this, Dana. <laughs> You get but, the blame. I mean, it's your tournament. Yeah, but I take, so? I will take the blame for conspiring with Dana to bring this wonderful game to this tournament. It is a wonderful and glorious game that everyone should appreciate. And, oh, and yeah. But as hard as we worked to make this happen, everybody needed to see it. It was it, it was kind of a video game, but only kind of, you know? Uh, hello there, Bald Nate. Hello. Hey, uh, congrats on the victory today. Oh, thank you. Hello, Weeboo. Welcome. Hello. Uh, so this was a game. Was it? No. I don't know. It, they developed it. We can say that much, but that's about it. 
So this was a really ugly game, and I'm glad that we've seen it. So hopefully we may never see it again in our lives. <laughs> That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, um, I don't know, honestly. Uh-oh. This is the best reason. version of this game, though. Raisins are very fragile. Okay, horror version of that game? There's there... an Apple II version and a DOS version. Yes. Why would they do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Apples are fragile, bald Nate. Or raisins. Or um, why did I say yeah, apples? I don't know. Maybe Apple II. Oh. Probably I would have done better with Apple. If you would like <laughs> to take a quick look into the Discord and see the DOS version in all its four color glory. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you share? Oh, let, let me go Beautiful. ahead and yeah, share that real quick because Simon everybody is. That is How not How did you beat okay. that stage, by the way? The stage six? Yeah. You just, uh, you have to, when you jump over the, the holes, every time you land, you need to back up a few pixels before uh, jumping to the next one. Weeboo was having the problem that he didn't jump over to the platform to get ammo. Oh, you didn't get ener- yeah, you have to get energized on that level so you can shoot the, uh, the snacks. Oh my god. Yeah, the manual oh, kind god. of lies. It says that- Why does it yeah. keep playing this song? Okay, I've heard this a billion times today. I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> it's like the- Uh, yeah, the thing is, like, uh... The the manual lies. It says that it's a green platform, but it's a pink platform you have to jump on to get energized. Yeah, I was looking for a green one and never saw it. I'm colorblind, so I I don't know. <laughs> the, the best we can figure is that the Apple II version is green, right? And they probably just poured it over the uh, manual because of course they would. Naturally. Gotta make it easy, you know? No need to proofread, no need to back check just get it out ship yeah uh was there anything redeemable about this game the the crack throw was amazing like the it's ninja season. looking skeptically at the title yeah and the the music there is 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 just great i actually like this style of music so it was delightful to see this come up first okay and also the loaded. interstitial raisins i the also like that raisins were also good Yes. One of the first thing you can do in the game is jump out of bounds. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Apparently, uh, you don't die for a long time, but you do, after a few minutes, die if you jump out of bounds. <laughs> Maybe Just... it's a shortcut. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna stop playing the game, it's a great shortcut. <laughs> you know, Weeboo, I. I'm glad that you came and joined this tournament. You are eliminated from the bracket. Or do you have any final words that you want everybody to remember you by? Uh, no. There's no, there's nothing that good that I've done in this tournament except glitches. I think I glitched like 80% of the game I got. Yeah, you, you broke quite a few games. Congratulations. So, Weeboo's final words are, uh, no. That's what exactly. I'm. That's what I'm gonna Those remember you by. Weeboo, thank you so much. I hope that you join next year. Baldnate, keep fighting in the losers bracket, and we'll see if oh. you are able to come out on top. Oh, I will. All <laughs> right. Thank you both, and take care. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Dana, Corndan, this has been a pleasure uh, to have both of you. Just as a reminder for everybody here, uh, this is Cusa Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. We are starting to get close to the end of the tournament, despite, like, I see a chat being like, how is this still going? It's been like three hours. It's been like 10 months. You can deal with it, Sharfers. 